Noam, tell me about um, working in such a, a complex environment where uh, things like the water and uh, certain aspects were never going to be present yet had to be imagined. Had, well, and had to be played to, right? By the actors had to actually yes. move correctly. First of all, uh, you know, I had a, an incredible um, cast that, and sometimes I was wondering myself, how are they able to imagine it and do it? Uh, the artists, they are able to do it, and that's what's so great. Um, it is very, very complex uh, because we shot a, uh, essentially a naval uh, movie uh, on in a studio with no, not a drop of water, um, and it creates a variety of, of, of challenges. Also, gives you incredible opportunity because you're not encumbered by the physical aspect of the seas and all of that. So I think that is really the, 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 the beauty of it, is that it really allows you to imagine everything, but it is complex. Kurt, is there a challenge in, in writing for something that's going to have to be put together in so many different stages? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I, I was lucky enough to, again, be writing this with Zach, and we'd kind of turn to one another and say, you know, can we uh, can we pull this off? Uh, and he'd be like, absolutely. And I'd be like, really? I mean, how are we going to do this? And he'd be like, don't worry about it, you know, because what, what Zach is, you know, which is very generous of him, is he never wants you to limit um, your imagination in, in the creative process. And if down the road, you know, it's like, oh, the budget's going to limit that, or the time, or the schedule, or it's just maybe unworkable, then you may start tapering back or kind of, you know, creating the, you know, funneling back some of your enthusiasm of like, okay, we're going to make this, this uh, you know, this spectacle. But um, really, Zach has always said, you know, just put your foot on the floor and, you know, the throttle go. wide open and just, uh, and go. And I think that that, what ends up happening is that, if you get 50% of what you're trying for on the page, and I think that we've got well over 100% of what we're trying, is that you have you don't have a movie, you have an experience. You go in for two hours and walk out with a completely different, you know, view of what just happened. That's yeah, it's good. One more question. <laughs> I think I have time for one more. Um, tell me a little bit about how you approach the decision of what's going to be real and what's going to be a uh, visual effect and then working with such an amazing team from Patrick to Alexandra uh, all down the line I mean you had uh, an all-star I had an all-star um, support and crew uh, in general films don't make themselves and directors don't make films necessarily directors choose the right people to work with and then they make it uh, so I had the um, was humbled by a lot of it, just how great and uh, knowledgeable and, comp and, and, uh, and wonderful they were and how committed, you know, it's, it's, it's a huge commitment. The decisions are decisions that are made, uh, are made on a daily basis, you know, I think that it's like anything else, uh, you just start analyzing each one of these scenes and shots and understand per, uh, per problem how to solve it. How much do you build? How much do you build in post? And the idea that you build uh, is in, in modern filmmaking in many ways is not, even if you go, okay, I'm going to build it now, I still have to build it. Uh, and you still have to build it in, in 3D. So, um, and what lends itself to 3D and what lends itself to 3D, not just in terms of 3D like we imagine it, but 3D in terms of CGI and understanding the complexities of it. So each one of these shots is analyzed and, 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 uh, and uh, sort of put together uh, as, a, as an architectural plan of all the entire movie.